What was it like jumping into this one? Uh, it was really cool actually, because I, um, I'm born and raised in Hong Kong and like a lot of the Asian um, culture is, I feel like it's in my blood. I spent 10 years there and uh, you know, I grew, up, I grew up doing martial arts as well. And literally everything that was on the script that popped out at me, I was like, I have to get this job. <laughs> this would be so cool to get this job. Um, and then went through the audition process and, and yeah, fortunately, Christina Kim, the creator just happened to pick me. How old were you when you started doing martial arts? I think, honestly, I think I was like four. Wow. I, I remember, so I, I used to live in a place called um, Sai Kung in Hong Kong. And there was like a, like a youth center, which did uh, uh, activities that you could learn. And I remember doing Taekwondo before I learned how to swim, wow. but that's all I remember. And then I kind of stuck with it. And uh, I ended up in my uh, late teens and early twenties going into like different martial arts like capoeira and escrima and um, Muay Thai. I ended up settling on Muay Thai and coming back to um, like Western boxing. But to be honest, I, I had this one experience when I was uh, an actor in London. I went to an audition um, at Elstree Studios, which is a bit like going to Paramount or something. Mm -hmm. Um, in LA and uh, I turned up and I had a black eye from the from two days before I was sparring and this guy punched me in the face but not only punched me in the face like my head whipped back and and hit like a wall or like mm. like a, a a pillar or something and I semi blacked out and got like all wow. nauseous and anyway the, the next couple of days I had this deep black eye and I, I went to the audition fortunately it was for an MMA fighter so I was thinking oh yeah this is gonna look really great but at the time I was like young early 20s skinny scrawny didn't really go to the gym and I was like I don't think I could even pass off as a phantom weight boxer at this point. <laughs> but the the black guy looked a kind of badass but I, I think the casting director called my agent and was like don't don't ever send this guy to me again like looking like that that's not cool yeah it's probably a little atypical of the rest of the people who are going and even though it was for right. an MMA fighter right yeah, it was extremely fortunate it was going up for the role that it was, but still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's really cool you've had this global experience because you just mentioned London, you mentioned Hong Kong. How has mm. that impacted you as a person overall? Um, yeah, that's a really interesting question. I think for me, it's been a dual-edged sword because I, on the one hand, it's such a fortunate and privileged uh, position to be in to have such um, amazing experiences of of other countries and other cultures at, at an early age but at the same time it's funny when people say well so so what are you are you English or, or are you from Hong Kong or what and and I don't really know how to answer that question because my my dad's Scottish my mum's Welsh I was born in Hong Kong so I'm technically British I guess <laughs> but um yeah it's uh, overall I'm you know I've got a, a very deep love for my time in Hong Kong I spent the first like I said, I spent the first 10 years of my life there. Um, and, you know, I, um, yeah, it's, I think I probably identify most as being from Hong Kong, but I'm not a Hong Konger. I got you. I, well, I guess there, I'm British. There's so much to your story, right? I think that's really interesting. Right. There, there's, there's also so much to this show, right? It kind of goes hand yeah. in hand here. So actually yeah. filming this thing, I like, just one thing to get the part, you actually do the show. What was most fascinating to you about the experience? The, it's such a wonderful cast and crew. It's such a wonderful group of creatives that I feel very lucky to be a part of it. Because as, as soon as we got together in the pilot, we started shooting the pilot pre-pandemic, yeah. right, in 2020. Um, and as soon as we got together, it felt like it was a special group of just really lovely, lovely people. And I remember sitting around the, the table read um, with everyone uh, going through the different, um, uh, their, their their own dialects. So Thai would say something in Cantonese and um, um, uh, Henry would say something in Hakka and Liv would say something in Mandarin and someone else would say Hokkien and all these really cool dialects. It felt like a special group of um, a little bit of history in the making. 